what is good y'all welcome back to yet again another episode of ji productions it's your boy ji and i'm back at it again with another banger video if you guys are new to the channel man please do your boy a favor smash that subscribe button and turn on post notifications right now we are on the road to 10k subscribers and we just hit 6k i just want to say thank you guys so much for the support but moving on with the vlog you guys see the title you see the thumbnail in today's video i am going to be giving you guys the tour of the brand new jihq this is where a lot of the modifications and stuff like that is going to be taking place um here on the channel for the next i want to say 15 to 16 months um until i can maybe i don't know get a warehouse or something like that down the future but as of right now this is going to be our warehouse so without further ado let's go ahead roll that intro and just get straight into this banger the car is already in the garage right now i'm looking at it right now i still have a ton of space with this car in here which is great because i could definitely put a toolbox in here let's just run that intro and we'll get straight into it y'all so here it is the new jihq as you guys see we got some space right here where you can set up some chairs and stuff like that and i'm barbecuing we got the car right here we got ample amount of space on both sides to where i could really possibly get some quick jacks and be able to jack the car up. I still have my jack itself, so I can still jack the car up from either side, take off wheels, do brakes, whatever we gotta do, and stuff like that I can still do at the dealership. Now, y'all do not mind how dirty Vader is right now, bro. Yesterday it rained and I drove through like the biggest puddle of dirty ass water. As y'all can tell, Vader is completely filthy. It is insane, but just coming along the backside, um, we do have this kind of like step up area type. As y'all see, I do have my wheels right now. I got the jack right here. Don't mind my Stanley cup. My girl gave me that. You dig what I'm saying? My water in there right now. Cold as hell, you feel me? It's still, still some ice in there, you know what I mean? Still some ice in there. But anyway, I do have a lot of future plans for this space. Um, just, let me go ahead and close it. One of the main things that I need to do as far as this new hq goes is take care of this because with the garage door closed as y'all can see the lighting in here isn't the best i mean the iphone cam is doing pretty decent let me get out of the pov type vibe okay the iphone cam is doing pretty decent in this little light but i know the vlog cam is not gonna do the best so that being said, I do want to possibly get the little hex lights, possibly. I'm not sure um, if I'm actually going to do that just because of the simple fact that I wouldn't be able to do the whole ceiling. I'd probably only be able to do like the back half. Um, so the next idea that I had was to maybe put some light bars going along the walls, kind of how you will see at like a detail shop. That way we would have light emitting all through right here and it will kind of brighten up the garage itself because y'all already know it's white paint, white reflects light very, very well. So I just need to add maybe like two strips on each wall and that would definitely brighten up this entire garage. Then another thing that I want to do, I want to get a workbench and I want to take the drag pack and actually make a rack on the wall where I can have the drag pack just on the wall because then I can utilize the space that the drag pack is taking up. Now you guys see we do got the ramps, we got the jack. I do want to put the ramps on the wall as well. Maybe make a little shelf type deal for the ramps and other tools. Like I said, get a workbench. That way whenever I am doing modifications and stuff like that, I can set up all that stuff on the workbench. Then I do also want to put some flags in here, bro. Like I really, really want to put some flags in here. Maybe have like a JI squad flag on the main wall. And then on these walls, like a 1LE flag, a Chevy flag, Camaro flag. 
Um, you feel me? And then maybe like another JI squad flag right here. I'm not a hundred percent sure um, exactly like where I'm gonna get these flags from, but I definitely want to turn this into like a creative space to where I don't know, I could come down here and just make a vlog for you guys, do a quick install, stuff like that. Things that aren't as, you know, difficult or as compact to where I need to do it at the shop and do it with the big heavy duty tools that I got at the shop. Those little things that I could do here, the cosmetic mods and stuff like that, we could definitely do in house. If I decide to go with the RGBW headlights and DRLs, um, stuff like that, we could definitely take the bumper off and do that kind of install here. Who knows, we could possibly even install a cam here without having to take the car to the shop, maybe bring the tools here. You never know, man. I mean, I know my boy Manny gonna do the install on the cam, but the diffuser, stuff like that, man. Those reflection, the reflectors that I was telling you guys about in the previous vlog, like all that stuff could be done here. The simple mods can definitely be done here. I really wanna put some stuff up here too, man. So. Yeah, man. Y'all let me know down in the comment section down below what y'all think of the new JIHQ. Are y'all excited for this new chapter? Are y'all ready for what's to come to the channel? Y'all let me know in the comment section down below, man, because I personally am so ecstatic for this new chapter in life. 2024 is about to be crazy. I'm talking the cam that everybody has been waiting on. Trust me, I've been waiting on it too. I'm talking the nitrous, the races, wrapping the car, a whole bunch of stuff because at the end of the day, y'all know my car is paint corrected and ceramic coated um, and the paint really does need some touching up. But at the end of the day, I've kind of been going back and forth with myself on what I wanted to do with this paint. Do I want to go get the ceramic coat touched up or do I want to just say screw it and wrap the car? Because at the end of the day, when you do do the ceramic coating and the paint correcting and whatnot, yes, it's nice that, you know, the water beads up and stuff like that. But if you don't clean it or you're not moving, you get water spots all over your car. So it's like, damn, I don't know. I'm kind of like on the fence. I might say screw it and go ahead and wrap the car. I do have a color in mind, but we'll see, man. We'll see. Tons of options, tons of options, man. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below what color you, you see. Look, now with that light off, it's even darker in here, bro. So yeah, we definitely need like some light strips going along the walls something we need something in here for sure lighting is for sure the must so y'all like i said in the comment section down below let me know if you guys are excited for the new jihq and the build to come with this new headquarters this is going to be like a side project that's ongoing for the channel um you know as i get stuff in for the garage we'll be throwing them in the uh you know doing videos on the installs and stuff like that but yeah man this is the before i cannot wait to see the after with that being said y'all that's gonna end it for today's video man i'm gonna go ahead and roll that outro like i said drop a comment in the comment section down below get this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already i'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace